Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie games we're gonna be checking out a brand new adventure game called Copy Am. And as usual this one is something I've been following and waiting for it to be released because as you all know as a huge fan of this genre I'm always searching for brand new games to check out and adventures to explore. And Copy here has really captured my attention when I first discovered it. And to tell the truth I'm not quite sure exactly what to expect here. I didn't really want to jump too much into it because I wanted to discover the world myself. And also if you guys want to discover this world yourselves as well make sure you check out the links down down below the description as I always provide for all the games that I feature on this channel and before we jump into this one let me as usual take a quick moment here to thank the developer for providing a review copy to share the game with you all uh, tell you my honest opinion about the game and of course if you all enjoyed this and want me to carry on with the adventure here make sure you leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new here and uh, let's just jump into copy and see what this game is all about let's do this sand cold dead. This land's soul has died like the spirit of those that once inhabited it. Forest grew here. Life was everywhere. We were a small nation, but we had everything that makes people truly happy. Then, life was simple. Our children grew in abundance. The young were in love. Adults created. The elderly preserved our heritage. Some laughed at our confidence, but we knew ourselves and believed in our future. Some western cities built domes over antique parts of the city. It was decided to build a dome over the center of our capital to protect its beauty from time. Yes, when you are really happy, it seems that you have control even over time. Nobody thought of the price that we might pay for a life of calm and tranquility. But the price is always there, hanging in the air as a dark shadow. Geneva, I'm at the gate. Copy. I am listening. Stefan, you are back. Did you succeed? Geneva, password. Do I really have to? Rules are rules. Fine. Third of the parrot, quarter of a crocodile. I am beauty, no denial. Geneva, I'm sorry, but Rennie asked me for so long to come up with a password. Just don't tell me that you fancy this. Rennie is already spoiled, and you are just <laughs> adding to it. But... Fine, let's just drop this. So what? Do I need to open the gates for you now? Or maybe you would like me to say that ridiculous password one more time? Please open. Thank you, Geneva. We will be waiting for you in the headquarters. So I'm guessing Rennie is the character we're going to be playing as? I am going out to get Enoch. Zim, you better hurry up and send Robbie to open the gates for Stefan. I can't do two things at once. Robbie, maybe you can do it yourself? Now you remember that I exist, you could have asked me first. Now I see how you treat me and my fragile human component. I'm merely a robot to you? Fine, I'll act like one. You want something done? Make me. I just don't have time for this. Be that way. I'll let Zim deal with you. Zim? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you, Zim. Stefan is waiting out there in the cold. Don't be that way, Geneva. If I could wait for Stefan to take this monster off my hands, he can wait for me to finish. I'm off. Hope one of you gains common sense before I return. I mean, why is this she opening up the door? The heck? <laughs> I, have, I have a feeling it's going to be up to me to do it. <laughs> All right, and there we have it. Of course, this is the character we're going to be playing as. Interesting. I kind of like the look of this, though. Uh, to tell the truth, I didn't really like the animations there at the intro. Uh, they kind of feel a little bit poor there, but at the moment, I'm kind of liking the look of the uh, gameplay, though. What did I just do? Cleaners hate dirty floors. Yeah, I think I just dropped some 
mud in there and the floor, but nothing's really happening. We got a big arm over here as well. When I grow up, I will have an arm this big. Or bigger. <laughs> now, I'm not really getting any options other than just watching, right? Uh, just looking at this and inspecting it. Right, in that case, I'm not quite sure exactly what I've done there. I definitely put some dirt in the floor. What about this, the notebook? I drew out a plan to capture Robbie. It is in my notebook. Capture Robbie. Oh, so this is the plan. We got a door over here that needs to be unlocked. We got the vacuum cleaner that's probably going to come over, right, to clean up the plant that I just, uh, the mud that I just dropped down. But the thing is, what do I have to do here, though? Hmm. Not quite sure. All right, I let's see. A perfect location oh, to that's the perfect location. Around. Now, where was it? It's right here. But it's not like I can do anything with it. I do have the X marks the spot, right? Am I supposed to get Robbie to go there? Robbie used to be human. Now they are almost human. About 31.4159%. Wait, what do you mean he used to be human? Talk with him? Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Contemplating my existence. When I grow up, I will never ever use long words. <laughs> Alright, can you help me, buddy? Can you help me open the gates for Grandpa? I have my duties. Playing with you is not one of them. If I'm not mistaken, I just noticed that my character also has a robot arm. Oh my god, I think I do. Is it? Huh. So... How do I get this guy to go on the X? Marks the spot, though. Hmm. A hotspot X-ray vision is super cool! Wait, what? What do you mean a hotspot? Show hotspots by pressing tab? Oh, so if you're having any difficulties, of course, and want to try to see what you can interact with, you can hold on tab, and this is going to reveal the things that you can interact with. I get it. Right, in that case, let me just have a chat with Zimulus here for a second. Hey, Zimulus. Uh, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Trying to fix this game. A game? Oh, look at that. I want to help. Okay. If you can't just stay put, pass me that screwdriver. Ah, uh, alright. Hold up. I can do that. You need to tell Robbie to open the gates for Grandpa. You need to tell Robbie to open the gates for Grandpa. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just asking, buddy. What the heck? Hmm. All right, anyway, so that didn't work. Uh, apparently, we do have a note here. Let's check it out. Let's see what that's all about. One, never gamble with Rainy. Absolutely no maps and always keep keys in your pockets. Hold on a minute. Does he actually have a key in his pocket? Zim is the oldest guy in the world. <laughs> in the world. Now, it doesn't like interact with his pocket, right? Which means I'm not going to be able to grab the key. But at least now we know where the key might be if I'm going to figure out how to grab it. Uh, you know what? Let me give him the screwdriver then. Hopefully, that's going to do something. Maybe unlock his pocket. I mean, look at us. The arm is so cool. You can take items from the inventory when you need to use them. Yep, thought as much. I do see that we have a timer over here. I'm not quite sure what that is all about. I'm guessing that's going to be a timer for us to be able to use the hints, right? Although I'm going to try to play this game without hints at all. I'm going to try to finish it up without any hints. So let me grab this and I'll give it to Zimulus here. Here, one screwdriver. Can I go meet Grandpa now? Can I go meet Grandpa? Not a chance. Stefan asked me to look mm. after you until he gets back. Oh, he's back. He Just open up the door. <laughs> Do you see him? Are you serious right now? No. Then he is not back. Hmm. Where are you going to send Robbie to open the uh, gate? When are you going to send Robbie to open the gates for Grandpa? Yeah, yeah, in a minute. I'm going to test this game first. It's taking forever. My God, are you forever. kidding me? Can I borrow your helmet to open the gates? No. No. <laughs> you are not touching my distance robot controller helmet. Last time it took two days for it to return to my control range. Thank you. So wait, does that mean that if I grab his helmet over here, I'm going to be able to control that robot? That is really interesting. Uh, What is this game anyway? What is this game anyway? It's boxing. Why? Boxing? When you have lots of boxes? Boxes. 
Of course not. Boxing is a noble sport. A fist fight. Can I play? Uh, well, I do need a second player to test this game properly. Ooh, so am I going to be able to play? Since the other game controller is still missing, I could use my robot mind control helmet instead. I've already adjusted the game to my helmet's control frequency. Do I get to use your helmet if I win? <laughs> so, you want to make this interesting. All right. If I win, you do the dishes for two days. And if you win, quite unlikely, <laughs> you get to use my helmet. Deal. Well, you know what? I guess we just figured out a way for us to do the quest here to get the helmet from this fella and uh, control the robot. But in order to do that, we gotta win the game. Now, how do I do it though? Uh, let's just play the game, I guess. Let's just try it out. Let's see. Ready. Oh god, what am I supposed to do? So that it's attack and block. Oh, jeez. So how do I advance? Oh god. Oh god. No, no. He's absolutely destroying me right now. Oh my god, Zimulus. <laughs> how do I do this? I mean, I'm not even... There we go, there we go. We got him, we got him. I don't know how to advance here, though. Jesus. Get out of here, buddy. It's not really telling me other control that I can use, so that's kind of a little bit tricky, though. There we go. I'm guessing every single time you're hitting him, you're probably advancing. Yeah, I want to push him into his corner here. Come on. Oh, my God. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> All right, his health is so low, but my health is also very low. I think he's gonna actually going to beat me. No. You win. I win. No way we just won. I'm winning. <laughs> There we go. Does this one mean that we round. got ourselves the... Wait, what? No, what do you mean one more round? I won. Fair and square. Come on, game. Uh. Are you kidding me right now? No, he's destroying me. Get out of here. My god, he's absolutely destroying me right now. Ah, dang it. Too slow. <laughs> so are we gonna have a third round? It's draw, right? Ready. Yes it is. Alright, alright, let's do this. Get out of here, buddy. So you gotta use the mouse to go back. And a fourth. I get it now. I, I exactly know how this works now. And I'm absolutely destroying him right now. Leave me alone, buddy. Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> as long as he's not going to put me in the corner. No, he's going to put me in the corner here. No, 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 no. He's destroying me. Get out of here, buddy. Zealous. Leave me alone, buddy. I'm going to win. And I am going to get me that helmet. Come on. There we go. I mean, we got we got I so much better at the end here. My eyes shut. There we go. We got it. I won. Now pass over that helmet. Yeah. Whatever. Take it. See if I care. It is your grandfather waiting out in the cold. Now <laughs> you remember. I always remember. I rarely care. <sighs> I need my sleep. Entertaining you is way too tiring. Don't forget to open the gates for your grandfather. I mean, seriously, buddy, you could have done it yourself. What the heck? Oh, and I just you saw the vacuum cleaner starting. Look at this. Inside my backpack. Ah, interesting. Oh, so these are the things in the backpack. So how do I use this? Switch. Uh, use. Robots have a different control frequency, so I can control only some robots on this frequency. I can control only some robots. Whoa! Remove? Uh, press remove. I, I don't want to remove strangely it. Strangely uncomfortable being with you in one room. <laughs> All right, so now we can connect to him, right? Oh no! We 
Wait. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, he ran away. Yeah, I know. Hold up. What just happened there? Uh, press to remove the helmet. I'm trying to remove the helmet, but I'm unable to. There we go. Perfect. What the heck was that? Why did he run away like that? Oh, now he's back. Hmm. I think I know exactly what I'm supposed to do, right? I think what I'm supposed to do here is... Uh, first of all, get access to my mouse. For some reason, I... Can I get access to my mouse? All right, so uh, the game kind of glitched down there and I uh, couldn't move anymore. Before I do anything, let me see if I can actually get the key from Grandpa, right? Because he should have the key on his pocket. And look at that. That is where the key is. I knew it. Or not Grandpa, actually. This is not Grandpa. <laughs> this is him. All right, so we found the key. We're going to be able to now close uh, the door over here, right? In order to get the robot not to move anymore. Uh, hold up. What about this vacuum cleaner? I wonder what I'm supposed to do with them. But first, let me just get... Uh, no, I don't want that. What I want to do is just grab the key from here and lock the door. No, Wait, what? Work. What do you mean it won't this work? This holds all the knowledge of the world. I like this section about bunnies. <laughs> uh, check it out. This door leads to the corridor, which leads to stairs that lead to another corridor. What if I open it up? Oh, so we can go to another place, but actually we're not going to another place. What we're trying to do right now is just getting the key and locking this up. Hopefully this way the body's not going to run away anymore, right? This can work. Robbie <laughs> can't get out. The key says yep, it's Robbie. Yep, exactly. All right, so now that Robbie is not going to be able to get out anymore, uh, let's just use the helmet. Activate like this. Uh, hold up. What is this? Come on. And... What are you doing, buddy? Switch. I turn it on for it to work. Yeah, I know. You can take a closer look I know. at things inside my backpack. I know. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. So what I'm trying to do is get this switch on. Robots have a different control frequency, so I can control only some robots on this frequency. Yeah, and That's I think Robbie's going to be the one, right? It. And lastly, all I got to do is just put the uh, helmet on. Uh, how do I do it, though? How do I put the helmet on? What if I do it like that? There we go. Perfect. You click and drag, of course. Now, hopefully I'm going to be able to control him now because he's not going to be able to run, right? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Not, not again. again. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to be able to control him, of course. There we go. What? Are you kidding me? This is so cool. So apparently in this game, we're not only going to be able to control our character, but also other robots. Now, am I supposed to tell him? Wait. No, I didn't want to disconnect. Dang it. Hold up, let me try it again. <laughs> Look at him running. Uh, so, let me grab... No, I don't want to do that. Let me grab the mask because the helmet and put it on my head again. There we go. Connect to Robbie. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not uh, love again. it that he does that. Come on, buddy. Let me connect. Aha, there we go. You. And lastly, I just got to tell him to go over here. To the X marks the spot, right? Is that what I gotta tell him? Yes, I, I think it worked. Within my control range. I need to get the I lost the connection. Wait, what? What do you mean you lost the connection? Dang it. Let's just get some more dirt on the ground then. Let's just see what Vacuum this is gonna cleaners do. Hate dirty floors. Uh huh. So I think I just got the vacuum cleaner to stay there. Us, now I'm gonna have to do the job again with Robbie. So let me go over here for a second. Grab the helmet, put it on. Hopefully, we get it to work this time because that ro that robot, the vacuum cleaner, was kind of messing it up for us, right? Let me connect to Robbie. Oh, no. <laughs> Haha. All right, buddy. We got gotcha. you. And now I got to put him on X marks the spots. Or how do I get him to open up that door? Hmm. Am I supposed to do something about this spot here as well? Because if I leave the frequency, right? We're going to disconnect. Hmm. And as soon as I take this off, Robbie's gonna go over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Huh. Not again. Well, this is a little bit confusing then. Hold up, let me try to figure this out. I drew out a plan to capture Robbie. It is in my notebook. 
I mean, it's telling me to get the vacuum cleaner. Or is this vacuum cleaner or is this Robbie? Get him to X mark the spot. And from here, he's going to be able to go to the door, I guess. Or maybe I'm supposed to sit on X marks the spot. Is I it? I marked a perfect location to connect to Robbie. Ah, yeah, so this is going to be the perfect connection it? to connect to everything. But I also see a computer over here. What is this? Robbie can unlock the gates through this computer station. Ah, never mind. Ah, gotcha. All right, hold up, Robbie. Ah, never mind. So I know exactly how this is going to work. So if I'm just going to sit, I guess, right over here. Uh, grab the helmet. Put it on. Just like that. Uh, get Robbie to oh, try to no, run away. No. And now connect to him. Perfect. But next up, we got to get Robbie over here. And get him to interact with this computer. And open it up the door. Is this going to finally work? Hmm... It is not, because for some reason, I'm losing connection. Yeah, I get it. Interesting. So, maybe I am supposed to see here on the X mark the spot. Put the helmet on. There we go. Interact with Robbie. Oh, no, and now, no, no. tell Robbie to interact with the computer. Is this going to work? Please work. It is not disconnected anymore. Perfect. All right, so we got Robbie manual. Few more updates, library, and security. I'm guessing we gotta go into security, right? And gates. Open. How do you open this up? Gates of Faith is a custom design of software worm, specifically crafted to override governmental restrictions on the freedom of movement. Gates of Faith worm uh, initialized required. Wait, what? Extraordinary intelligence of 100, lore 70, and luck of 40. What is this? I'm just trying to open up the gate for Grandpa, but apparently this is not what I gotta go. What about games? Oh! <laughs> this is just a game allowing me to play with a uh, ball? Hmm... I mean, I don't really want to do this. Uh, security, library, let's just try this one out. Uh, we got Newton and Forefather, Mind Control Scam, Free Laws of Slavery and Doom, or Dome. The Dome Kapia Diagram. What about Manual? Free will mode temporarily unavailable. Power, coordination. Oh, you can add points and subtract points? What the heck? Loyalty. What is this? Hmm. I mean, I was expecting this to be able to use to open up the door, but. Oh, so this is the dome, right? Fold when, uh, fold when activated. Roof, ground protection base, secure water, and open the gates of faith. But apparently I cannot really interact with anything, so I'm not quite sure what this is all about. What about this? I got no clue what this is. Uh, Newton. Again, I got no clue what this is either. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, for security, we cannot really do anything, apparently. Network active, free will, mode temporarily available. Oh, you know what? I think I'm supposed to open this one up, but in order to do it, we need intelligence 100, lore 70, and luck 40. So we got 100, 70, and 40, right? Uh, intelligence, I guess it's IQ, 100. Uh, lore needs to be 40, I guess? Hmm. Luck and coordination. Interesting. How do I add IQ 100 here, though? That's something I gotta figure out, right? So let me go back into security here. So intelligence 100, lore 70, and luck 40. Lore 70, and luck 40. So this one is already 70, luck 40, but this one needs to be 100. So we just need to decrease this one all the way to get 100 in IQ. This is so interesting, though. There we go, we got it. All right, that was a click. Which means now if I go back into security here, we, we can the open this up. Gates. Robbie, you are the best. <laughs> there you go. I think we actually opened up the gate eventually for Grandpa, right? Oh, wait. Am I supposed to control him? Huh. You know what? It definitely feels like it. Look at that. 
Ah uh, man, I always love these type of uh, point and click adventure games where you're not only controlling the main character, but you're also going to be able to control other characters as well around the world. That is so cool. And apparently I do have some crayons and a recorder on me. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we do have quite a few things here that we can interact with, but first of all, let's try to interact with the heads. My battle brother. He's the one I can trust with keeping a secret. Can I chat with him? Oh, what the? <laughs> what do you want Who's that? Me, stranger? stranger, have you forgotten me, builder old friend? Only humans can speak this recklessly of memory. Hmm. I'm not quite sure exactly what this character is all about, but uh, let me try to figure it out. Uh, don't try to fool me. Don't try to fool me. Robots can't suffer from forgetfulness. That's not how they were made. We differ, human stranger. I'm a robot, and it's my privilege to forget. I made this choice when my pain became too unbearable. How can forgetting a friend that cared and stood shoulder to shoulder in battle with you be a matter of choice? Humans, you're all the same. You speak of care. You speak of love, of devotion. You proclaim noble cause and send your brother into battle to later forget him shattered outside of your shelter. You forgot me, human stranger. I only paid back with the same coin. Hmm, seriously? Uh, mobility is not what makes a man. Mobility is not what makes a man. You cry for your dismembered body. My cry is for those I failed to protect. You speak of others, prideful human. I'm among the others you have wronged. Yet you did nothing to save the builder of your own shelter. And here I lay abandoned to the forces of nature. Um, I will always be your friend, buddy. I will always be your friend, no matter what. You want to be my friend after I've forgotten you? I have as much time as you need to get to know me anew. I need to know now. You are different. You make me doubt. I want... Uh, I want to remember. I need you to help me remember. I need more power. Can you do this for me, faithful human? I'll do all I can to help you. <laughs> Alright, so apparently I gotta do something about the bot here to bring him a little bit more power. I must power. find a new power bank. Uh-huh. I think I have one in my old airplane. Hopefully it's still there. So apparently I gotta bring an, a power bank to this fella to uh, try to fix him up because at the moment he's not moving anymore because he's got no more power. So how do I get this working though? I think I gotta open up this gate first of all, right? In order to make my way inside there. Pilots and shipmen fight side by side in the ancient battle for the northern sea. Maybe not. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so this is still the gate. What about this control then? Can I interact I with can this? I access my personal system through this public terminal. All right, let's try that. Let's see if it works. Stefan access. All right, we got the dome access in the library, of course. So for the library, uh, apparently nothing is locked though. Olympics, the Eastern News, August 2016, 10th anniversary number. Huh. All right. The opening ceremony of the 42nd Olympic Games was beautifully orchestrated at the Eastern Olympic Stadium. Eastern Biotech demonstrated state-of-the-art innovation in bionic technology. Hmm. I like it how this world is post-apocalyptic. It, it kind of looks like they try to evolve everything using machinery, but it all went bad as well. And I'm really curious to see what the story is all about behind that. Miraculous rescue of two defense pilots. Two pilots of the defense aircraft, Stefan and Inuk, managed to make the uh, unplanned landing second before the dome lockdown. Hmm. The thing is, I'm one of them, right? I'm Stefan. Alright, what about the dome access then? Uh, dear Stefan, I pride myself in making my interface user friendly. To open the dome gates, kindly press the press me button. <laughs> Let's see. I haven't done this before, but the gates should open up when I press this button here. 
Oh, there we go. We got it open. Huh. Interesting. Man, it definitely looks like the entire world is kind of frozen, eh? Oh, hold up. Is this the plane? One day this airplane will be in a museum exhibit where it belongs. Ah, I think this is the plane I crashed with. Yes, never mind. So we got some snow machines here as well. My snowmobile broke down on my way to the Institute of Science. Someone must have tempered with it at night. Hmm. Who was that though? Now the thing is, we probably still don't have what we need, right? To um the trader get a battery. May be expecting me. I can't go inside until I find a way to hide the message. Oh wait, what? What message? Oh, I think he's talking about this message. Am I supposed to put this message inside maybe the robot's mouth and hide it inside it? Before I go inside the gate? Yeah, let me try to do that. Uh, head. Look it out. This robot saved my life in the battle for the Dome Capia. I've been maintaining his power levels for all these years. Builder deserves the best I can do for him. I wonder if anyone has maintained his power while I was away. Apparently not. Now, hold up. Let me try to get me the recorder and hide it inside This it. won't help. This won't help. Hmm. So where am I supposed to hide the recorder then? Can I maybe hide the recorder inside the plane? What if I try to interact with it? Oh, what's happening? The heck? Huh. I kind of like it how we have these animations in the game, though. I moved the display and a cavity opened up. Ah, you know what? That is exactly where I'm supposed to place the recorder and hide it inside it. So let me place it right over there. No, too many people know where I keep my spare power banks. Oh, wait, what? This cavity made a good hiding spot. I hope this will help my friend remember. I can't ah. bear seeing him like this. All right, there we go, there we go. So we got ourselves the uh, element for the bot, I guess. Now, can I hide something in there? No. Alright, anyway, in that case, let me give the bot the power bank. And hopefully I'm then going to be able to give him the device that we're trying to hide away, right? Uh, let me give you the power bank. There we go. I think I fixed it. I hope this power bank still has enough juice in it. Uh, did this help you? Did this help you gain any recollection? I am remembering that I know you and that you have <laughs> abandoned me. Have I actually done that? I was on a mission. I was on a mission to retrieve the message from the Dome Institute of Science. Yes, a single message to explain the war. <laughs> so they promised. I managed to bring it back home, but I still can't wrap my mind around the circumstances of my travel. The dome of the Institute. It was gone. Gone? It can't be. The Institute was perfectly fortified. I never said it was destroyed. Just that there was nothing there but the hollow. The gate terminal remained powered, but there were no gates, no dome, no people, nor bodies. If that's the case, then how did you manage to return with the message? It was strange. I inserted my ID key into the terminal, and it ejected this message carrier. I tried reading it, but it was encrypted. How did you manage to get back without your snowmobile? Hmm. Uh, fatigued with cold and disappointment, I sat by the terminal. Fatigued with cold and disappointment, I sat by the terminal trying to warm my body against its case. While there, I lost track of time. You must have fallen asleep. Humans can't withstand the cold the way robots do. After some time, I saw lights breaking through the snowfall. My limbs were numb, but I gathered myself and ran toward them through the snow. It could have been an enemy. You ran a big risk. Luck was on my side. It was a caravan of dome travelers. I rode most of the way back under their protection, but I couldn't risk entering Capia among them. No one can enter Capia completely unnoticed. 
The moment you enter those gates, you reveal yourself. This mission is bigger than me or my safety. I must protect the message. I must leave it behind under the watchful eye of a trustworthy friend. Who could have proven himself enough to deserve such an honor? <laughs> you, buddy, what are you talking about? I hope you won't refuse me. I hoped you wouldn't refuse. I will not let you down, Stefan. I will preserve the message, even if it kills me. I'm sure it won't come to that. I will return for it as soon as I catch the traitor. So who could, could a traitor actually be then? Huh. So I kind of knew it. We have to give him the message. So he can store it. Interesting. At the same time, I have a feeling that after this one, I'm going to have to grab the message back from the robot here somehow. Hmm. The message will be safe here. Now. To find the traitor find the traitor. So I'm guessing now that we got rid of that, all we gotta do is just make our way inside the gate, right? And see who the traitor is. I mean, who could the traitor be then? Hmm. I wonder if there's gonna be multiple characters that we're able to meet inside the dome here. It might actually be a huge city and we just explored a little bit of it. Oh, look at this. Yes, somebody is actually watching me. Huh. I have a feeling that the actual traitor was the one that was actually watching me. But I'm curious who that was though. And I was also right. Apparently the dome here is actually an entire city. Not just the small room that we uh, checked out. Huh. Pam, who is this? Hi Pam. Anything new around Capia? Sorry, can't talk right now. Really have to put fences up before the caravan gets here. Hmm, copy of mechanics. I get it. So I have a feeling maybe I, re I will have to just get this thing open somehow Before, to be able to go through there. Before, this used to be a city church. Now it's a base for the Onyx cult. Uh-huh. Alright, well in that case, you know what? Let me keep on going this way. Uh, I want to see if uh, I have a way to get all the way back home to the main destination. Uh, where my granddaughter is. I don't even know. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> what is that? Oh, I think the dog. Yeah, look at that. They dropped something. What the was dog that ran even? out of mailmen to chase. So <laughs> now he's after the gardeners. Oh, so that was the gardener. I get it now. Hmm. So does that mean that I can actually go ahead and grab me that device? I do see a rat. Hopefully he's not going to bite me though. Nope, never mind. Huh. Oh, you know what I just noticed? This Ben's is something that's gonna control the uh, remote. I could try to fix it. I could try to fix it. Yeah, look at this. This one is like a remote that has like a up and down button. And I have a feeling this is gonna control a lift somewhere. But I'm not really sure exactly where. Uh, we might have a toolbox over here that we can use to fix it at the same time. Hmm. And I have a feeling I'm supposed to grab this guy's wrench as he's reaching out for it, right? Interesting. Hold up, buddy. Yeah, look at that. He's always going to put that over there. Hello there. Oh, it's you, Stefan. So you're back, huh? Now get lost, <laughs> would ya? What do you mean? A What's up, buddy? I'm grumpy in the morning. Not my job to entertain you outside of my bar. Suit yourself. <laughs> All right, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Fixing the elevator. Oh. I will be the only one who will be able to use hmm. it after I'm done. <sighs> Sounds more like you're breaking the elevator. Truth has many sides. One side for everyone who speaks it. So apparently, this fella is going to fix up the elevator. And I'm not going to only have to go ahead and fix up the remote to control the elevator. The elevator but, but I'm also probably supposed to help this guy out so that he can fix the elevator. Now the question is, could I maybe grab his range while he turns around? Yeah, let's just try it. Okay, <laughs> apparently I can. I'll return it later. No harm done. <laughs> I'll return it later. No harm done. Yeah, look at that. He has no idea what it is. So somehow I gotta try to fix up the remote and maybe the elevator as well because the elevator kind of feels like it is broken still, right? Hmm. Man, but this place seems to be pretty huge. 
Oh god. What was that? <laughs> a cat inside a robot? Oh my god. We got an info board and that is kind of about everything that we can do around here. Um, apparently we have so much more work to do before we're going to be able to get back to our granddaughter. But you know what guys, I think it's going to be the end of this episode for now. And if you guys enjoy Kapia and you want me to carry on the adventure here, make sure you hit on that love button down below. That's definitely going to tell me that you guys want to see more. And also, if you enjoy this and want to grab the game for yourselves, check out the link down below in the description. You can go ahead and grab the game right now because it has actually been released. And I'm going to be completely honest when I'm going to say that I'm currently really enjoying the puzzle style of the game. All the puzzles so far seem to be really interesting to do. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what to say about the graphics here, the animations, but most likely the cutscenes. Uh, those kind of seem like they needed a little bit of a polish. But other than this, the game seems pretty fun. And I'm really intrigued to carry on with the story and, and see how far this is going to go on next. Alright, anyway, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye everybody.